I'm at the grand opening of the biggest Starbucks in all of Thailand. One of the biggest in the whole world. And they also sell booze here. We're gonna go in and tour through the whole place. So stick around. Hello out there world, my name's Chris. I'm retired working for you. And I'm at the most iconic mall in all of Thailand. So iconic in fact, it's called the Icon Siam. And up here on the seventh floor is Bangkok's newest landmark. Okay, so it's not a landmark, but this is worth a look. This is the grand opening weekend of the newest and by far the biggest Starbucks in all of Thailand. And one of the biggest in the world, they say. But how big is it? Well, I read one report that said it's 1,260 square meters, which is about 13,000 square feet. But I also read another report that says, including the upper level, it's actually 2,160 square meters, or about 22,000 square feet. I'll try and get in and get to the bottom of it and tell you the actual size, but if any of you out there know which one of those is right, do me a favor, drop a quick comment below and let me know. Also, if you know what the biggest Starbucks in the whole world is, drop me a comment and tell me that too, I'm curious. Now let's continue waiting in this giant line and go in and see what it looks like. Okay, I gotta be honest with you all, if I wasn't making this video, there's no way in hell I'd wait in this line just to get into a Starbucks. I mean, honestly. has 350 seats with another 80 outdoor seats. It boasts a world-class view of the famous Chao Phaya River and the space really is something to see. It reminds me a bit of the new Apple store that opened last year here in Bangkok with an obvious focus on design that's meant to offer a huge wow factor. To achieve this, the Starbucks design team worked in collaboration with local artists for many of the signature design features. Street art mastermind Rukit Kwan Hawate is responsible for the vivid mural in the entrance, while Filipino artist JP Pining takes the inspiration of Starbucks history into a wood-carved mural at the store's central stairs. The central staircase is super cool and it leads up to the second floor. The ceiling has 502 floating lanterns inspired by Thailand's famous Loi Kratong festival and I gotta say, it's pretty jaw-dropping design work. Okay, cool design aside, this place is a coffee shop after all. And Thailand's coffee industry is expected to be worth 60 billion baht per year. 33 billion of that amount is spent on at-home coffee. And I think for the other 27 billion, we might be able to get a coffee and a croissant in here. This place ain't cheap. Let's take a look at the menu. They got the regular Starbucks with the coffee drinks and the half-calf cappuccinos. Then there's this storybook menu that has some fancy stuff. What's the difference between a grande and a venti anyways? If you want to cut off your right arm, you could probably even afford a smoked butterscotch latte. I kid, I'm sure the menu's all delicious. The really cool thing about this menu is that it's the very first outpost ever where you can get the extra special Muan Jai coffee blend from right here at this crazy looking coffee bar. This blend is exclusive to Thailand and it exudes a robust aroma of chocolate and spice with a twist of surprisingly light flavors. <clears throat> Pardon the barista voice, I couldn't help myself. Anyways, for every cup of this Muan Jai blend that's sold at this branch, 10 baht is going to be donated to the Integrated Tribal Development Program for the Northern Thai farming communities. So that's pretty cool. 
If coffee ain't your thing, there's also the debut of the Tivana Tea Bar, where specialty drinks are served with the Thailand-inspired lychee Earl Grey Tea, the highlight. For this, expect to pay a whopping 180 baht for a cup. Now, have any of you commented yet and telling me how many square meters this place is? Ah, screw it. I'll just pace it out myself right now. The new store will not only serve signature coffee and tea menus, but it's also going to be the first in Thailand to serve alcohol. They're going to have a mixologist bar, which sounds to me like getting a simple can of ice cold Leo is not going to be their main focus. Thailand's going to be the fifth country in the world in which Starbucks has launched a menu featuring booze following the US, China, Japan, and Taiwan. Of course, they want to sell you snacks in here too, and their big claim to fame is that their pastries come directly from France. Now, I don't know about you, but I prefer my croissants to be a little bit fresh than having been shipped on a boat from Europe. This one tastes a little cardboardy. Yeah, this is Captain Phillips. We got the Starbucks croissants heading your way in about three weeks' time, and they're going to be fresh. Well, they might be a little bit moist. Okay, so the deal is they just ship the raw dough over from France, and then they actually bake it here on site acceptable Starbucks. Apparently you can get a croissant here for about 60 Thai baht and I think a fresh apple tart costs 130 Thai baht. As a quick point of reference, I could get 13 straight days of street egg crepes for 130 baht. The only reason I'm telling you this is to illustrate the point that Bangkok offers everything from the uber cheap to the ultra expensive. It's one of my favorite things about this city actually. So there it is, the brand new Starbucks here in Bangkok. So what did I order in there? Well, the big reveal, I got a cafe Amazon for 45 baht downstairs. I wasn't about to blow my monthly budget on a Starbucks in there. I guess Starbucks isn't going to sponsor me anymore. Damn it. I actually drink most of my coffee at home. I buy my beans from this cool farm up in northern Thailand and uh, I email them. They roast the beans and then they ship them out to me overnight the next day. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. So. I'm going to enjoy this. If you could do me a little favor and just hit that little like button, give the YouTube algorithm a little tickle for me. Just tickle it. And uh, drop a comment below and let me know your favorite place to get coffee here in Thailand. Cheers.